This afternoon I'm working at the main six acre nursery in Trumansburg, New York, and I'm in the middle of the woods in what is basically a gentle lull in the landscape, a wet bowl in the landscape, and I'm making some adjustments to some garden beds that have been here for quite a long time, and I thought it'd be interesting to show you what it looks like when you dig into a hugel mound that for all intents and purposes has been added to for 15 years, and so now I'm digging into that soil. It'll be interesting for some folks who are just setting up hugel mounds now to see what happens when they evolve over time, so stick with me if that's interesting. Just a little uh, context and explanation as to why I'm doing the work I'm doing. So this is the area that I'm starting to modify, just barely beginning to change the shape of this. If you can believe it, at some point in the next year or two, my hope is to actually have a quarter acre or half acre pond in this area. But this is basically a midway point in the property from where the home is, out towards the road, and then the far end. And the previous owners, my, my folks purchased this land in the summer of 2008. And in 2009, I started managing it. And if it's a little hard to imagine, but this was basically where the previous owners for 20 some odd years have been throwing all the branches and debris of what they pruned. Luckily, they weren't uh, burning at all. They just put it into this huge, huge pile, six feet tall or so in this whole area. I went through with a light electric chainsaw and chopped it up a bit and laid out some beds in maybe 2009 or so, but a lot of the material had already been broken down. And so what you're looking at here is basically almost entirely decomposed woody debris with a little bit of muck soil on top from where I dug out a couple small hand dug ponds and took the muck and put it on top. And that aged, really fungal rich, decomposed woody stems and branches and logs uh, has made for some incredible garden production. This is all black currant in here and those are some elderberries. I plan on transplanting them out uh, at some point and harvesting the soil from here. And the reason why I wanna dig this out is I've observed over the last many years that this whole area tends to stay very saturated in the summer. And so there's this huge amount of fertility, but it's also very, very wet. And if I could harvest that fertility out of, in other words, break up this whole hugel mound, bring all that incredible nutrient and use it to cap other hugel mounds that are actually on contour, that are in more light. So here we can see a couple that have been rough sketched over the years. This is the soil going on top. I've got a brush wall or a debris pile, long hugel mound over here where I'm taking some of the old logs and putting it on. So it's a huge amount of soil that I can harvest and then I can actually get what is a troublesome wet area to be an actual pond, which would be way more useful. And the first pass is that I'm going through with a shovel and pulling out the logs that have not decomposed. So that's one note of this. Even eight years later, maybe 10 years later, uh, these are Scots pine logs and they're still intact enough that you can see them. And in fact, this whole line through here has these logs. This is from when I dropped the trees that were right on the edge of this. They're uh, Scots pine every eight feet or so. So those logs very slow to decompose, but they're incredibly heavy. They smell really rich in fungal and they're super moist. So they're acting like good sponges. So they're actually very functional in this hugel mound. And I'm plucking them out one by one and putting them onto this wall, much longer hugel mound that I think will be more useful in this area and a little bit more of a dry location. But you can see eight years later, these logs are very fungal rich, supporting a ton of life. There's dandelions and cleavers and all sorts of plants that are growing right out of them. And so on top of these younger hugel mounds, they'll be able to inoculate and weigh them down I can put some soil on top and I should be able to plant this whole thing out in the spring. But all that aside, what I think is the most compelling thing to share is the actual soil, the compost, worm castings, the bulk of the material that's in here after all these years. So again, if you can imagine, this was predominantly piles of woody debris, uh, some of it as young as five years, some as old as 25 years, let's say an average of 15. And digging into this, this is basically an aged hugel mound. That's what the soil looks like. There is, I'm getting down a little bit into the mineral layer, but what happens is that it looks like the organic matter, the worm castings that would have been generated up in the top have been integrated down into the subsoil so that the O horizon and the A horizon, the organic matter layer, and the first layer of uh, high quality mineral layer have been integrated by worms. 
And so this is basically almost all worm casting with a little bit of clay in it. There's just another random sampling. So clearly still some sticks in there, but not a big deal. A little frozen, but really beautiful texture. We don't have great soil on this property. Overall, it's basically a poorly drained, relatively tight, low organic matter silt. So what you're looking at is definitely the byproduct or the end product of Hugel Mound decomposition, earthworm activity, and fungal life. This is a very improved soil. Each spot here that you see a dark pile is basically some of that Hugel Mound soil that I harvested out of that area dumped on top of these younger Hugel Mounds. Let's see how many times you can, somebody in the comments at the end of this video, let me know how many times I said that word and you know which word I'm saying. Anyway, this Hugel Mound <laughs> is now capped with some beautiful soil on top. And even though there are logs sticking out that are very visible, we've got some incredible planting places on these permanent raised beds with a woody core. And so an old production bed with a woody heart, these Hugel Mound, zones 15 years old or so even though you might say well boy what a waste of time to take it and rearrange it well that's just a massive amount of compost and fungal and uh, sponge material that can be put in more meaningful places now that i've got a more evolved design for the property it'll probably be a year or two before i even begin thinking about a pond in here but if you could imagine it probably would have an edge that would include these two pines they would be cut out it would go all the way down nearly to that structure back around again and back over to here. But I'm not in a rush to dig a pond. I'm not in a rush to hire an excavator in to do that. For now, I can be skimming off this obscenely rich top material, sorting out the logs and the sticks that can be worked into younger mounds on the edges, sifting out and harvesting the rich material that can be used to cap beds to make them productive right away, and start rough sketching where this pond can go. I still have to transplant all of these. I have to move a couple of plums that are over here before I even think about any machine work. But that's the beauty of this. It's kind of the, that observe and interact. So I'll chip away at this. We'll see where the water settles in. We'll harvest many, many, many cubic yards of nearly pure fungal rich compost, all from a place that instead of burning branches and burning tops of trees, were just laid in a pile and dot, dot, dot time equals incredible fertility. So if you just laid up your first Hugel Mound this year and you're saying, darn, you know, I thought it would be this amazingly fertile thing, but the quality of the plants was not that great. Give it some time, watch it settle and start to break down and grow a little bit better each year. And eventually without doing any more work, you'll have incredible rich soil. It's a huge colony of little creatures in there that created basically nearly pure compost out of stuff we threw in a pile. Thanks for watching.